What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing set 71742 Overlord Dragon with 372 pieces, part of the Lego Ninjago Legacy line. It includes too many figures, and then the giant dragon build. You can see the golden like Lloyd master minifigure down here, and then the Overlord right here, and then the big dragon just kind of on the screen also. And then if you look on the top, you can see the golden Lloyd minifigure, the Overlord minifigure just kind of battling it out and then the actual size of the Lloyd minifigure. And then flipping onto the back, you can see just some little features of the dragon, like the size down here, the little playability where you can have the wings open up and stuff, and then the ability to like make the head move around. So that way you can have him like attacking Lloyd at different angles and stuff. And then you can also see some clips from the show on the side. Taking a look at the first minifigure in the set is going to be the Overlord. He is a pretty nice minifigure, not as good as the original one, in my opinion, that came out in, like, 2013. But, nonetheless, this is a really great minifigure for the set. He has some golden shoulder plating up here, and then this, like, emperor-type helmet, like, just warrior-type helmet. And it just looks really nice. Underneath, you can see the face print really well with the helmet off. The helmet doesn't really fit on too well because of the shoulder plates. But the face print does look pretty nice, it's pretty menacing, and the eyes are scary, and the teeth just are jagged and stuff, and it, like, even for me, it is kind of, like, a scary-looking minifigure. And then on the torso, you can see his little, like, rib cage gold printing, and then the overlord symbol on the upper part of the torso. Then he has a little bit of, like, a belt down here with the little symbols, the, like, curve pieces i don't really know but like right there those little things and then he also has his little like evil electricity type beam thing and then he has some nice little like ghost legs and then on the back is just some more like flame printing and an a spine the second and only other minifigure in the set is lloyd in his like golden power set or like minifigure clothing he has a really nice like golden hood with the green on it which is like his signature golden green colors and his golden power suit then he has a gold shoulder plate right here and then some nice torso printing with like some dragons on it and then some little green buckles and then on to the waist you have a belt in green and then some more of that like printing which looks really nice then flipping onto the back you can see his little like sheath where if you take his sword you can go ahead and just slide his sword down on in, and it fits perfectly with, like, the hood and stuff, though the hood doesn't really have much movement, if, like, any. <laughs> he does have two face prints, which is the first one being just, like, a mid-fight type face, and then the other one is a more, like, laid-back, chill kind of face. Moving on to the actual Overlord Dragon, though, you can see the cool headpiece. It has a little, like, printed area for the eye and stuff. It is a different mold than some of the dragon pieces used on the, like, Golden Ultra Dragon, but it is the same one that is used on the Wojira Dragon, I am pretty sure, and it has some of these little, like, spikes or horns or teeth, whatever, down here so that, to help create that. And then you can also have the dragon open its mouth and stuff and, like, bite down so if you want to take Lloyd and have him being eaten by the dragon you can have him being eaten by the dragon but it does have a decent bit of like movement and articulation with this piece right here this joint or ball joint whatever it is allows the head to be positioned however you want so you can just do it however you please there is a lot of this dark blue and black which looks pretty nice and then also some purple for spines going down the tail and the back and then a little section on the back of the dragon for if you want to take your Overlord minifigure and put him on here to, like, ride the dragon, even though the dragon is technically him. Not sure why, but, like, I guess you can do it. And then moving on down, you have a tail, which just, it, it has some movement. It's not my favorite, just because the stuff moves so easy and on its own. But you can have it, like, whip around and stuff, and then you have whoops some more of these spines going down and then some of these little spikes at the end which can move up if you want and then these right here which do have some movement because they're on little ball joints and then the wings same thing on either side but they have a decent bit of movement you can just kind of position them however you want 
they have these little blades like this to kind of help create just a it looks better than like just an actual wing piece type thing because in the um ninjago show the wings are like torn and stuff so it does look kind of good then you have some claws right here and then that's about it for the wings then over by the main body though you do have these little texture pieces just kind of like weird horns which just add more texture to the build if we go ahead and raise the wing up you can see the the one of the legs which they are just the same just mirrored on either side but with the joint or whatever this is this piece right here you can have the legs move however you want and then th you also have this other little joint down here which you can rotate like the foot and stuff and then you have three claws on either feet which are huge and kind of massive and then if you go ahead and flip all the way to the bottom you can see this little golden area with this like purple piece and then some lightning for i guess like the chest or heart whatever it is of the overlord dragon but that is going to be it guys thanks for watching and have a good day